We are down here today at the Renfro Valley Creek and we're gonna do some after work creek fishing. I was gonna fish for panfish. I had everything lined out, ready to roll. Got over to the water and then I seen a bunch of little bass in there and I was like, why fish for panfish when you can catch some bass? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over there and try to catch us some bass. We're probably gonna go right here at the bridge and down just a little piece and see how many we can catch in probably 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes or something like that. So let's get over there to it, see if we can catch us some creek bass. Well, we made it over to the water. And like I said, I originally planned on uh, fishing for pan fish. Then I get over here and I can see some little bass swimming around. And I said, well, let's go back to the car and get some other stuff here. We're going to fish for some bass instead of some pan fish. Right now, what I'm throwing is a, a little Kytec swim bait. And uh, I'm not promoted by Kytec or nothing like that. That's just. I've been using that bait. It's the smallest bait I can find here local, swim bait wise. Walmart's got the swim baits, but they're uh, a little bit bigger than this. And then, you know, the bigger swim baits, they work magic. But here in this area, the small ones do the best. It ain't nothing, nothing special, nothing fancy. That's the only reason I'm using them. Now, I can see fish in here, but we just ain't connected yet. But maybe here in a minute we will. I want to tighten my drag up a little bit. Spool up a little bit, my tension. Whoa. Well, there you go. First bite. And it tore half my swim bait off. Luckily, we got some more, so we'll throw another one on there. Only got two left in this pack, but we did buy that pack, full pack, the other day. We'll tie us on another one here. While well, I'm talking to you, this water is still uh, still up pretty good from the recent rains that we've had. This area here the other day was pretty flooded. And that's kind of why I stopped here. I said, you know, with all that flooding going on, there might be some decent little fish in here. There we go, got her lined out. We're gonna throw right back in that area where, where one pinched me off there. Let it float right back down here. Decent little fish. Get out from under that tree. Decent little creek bass. Boys, looky here. Looky here, looky here. And he has messed my swim bait up. But look at that fish. Nice little fall bass in the creek. Now that's a straight large mouth. You can see there he ain't got a spot on his tongue. There you go. Nice little largey. He has really whacked my swim bait up. tire back on here all right that panned out good that's what I'm talking about got one boys we got one right just a little bit old creek bass who doesn't want to see a good old creek bass boys there you go little bitty old bass little spot little Kentucky bass we'll get him back in the little dudes are fun to catch, let me tell you. I 
And I don't know if I said before, but I did bring my Ned rig with me. I don't think it'll be doing any good today. It may, we may try it out here in a minute. That flood's brought a lot of junk down into the water. So we gotta be really careful where we're throwing and what we throw. That's another one. Oh, he's mad. Maybe the same one that we got up there. I ain't quite sure. There we go. No, that one's a little bigger. That one sure is a little bigger than the uh, the one that we hooked up there. Sure is. He got me too with the hook. A little bit bigger belly on him than that and up there. But still, a good, good old large mouth. I'd like to have that one back in the lake where he'll grow up a little bigger. There you go. Get the release on him here. I'm sure glad that I decided to to go bass fishing instead of pan fishing right here in this little area. Because they are in here right now. That flood has brought them out of the lake. Well, I say flood, but we really didn't get flooded too awful bad. But the water did get up pretty high. Look there, got my daggum finger. And that brought some of the fish out of the lake into this creek. And they're pretty good in here. Two decent size large mice and then one spot so far. They're not monsters by no means, but they sure are fun to catch. Little or big. Well, I had the camera off, but literally just missed one. He hit me right here at the, about the same spot that other largey got me. So we'll rig up, put it back on real quick, and throw it back out there. See if we can entice him to hit it one more time. And all I'm doing right here when I caught that one is just letting her sink to the bottom and giving it a little twitches, getting it up off the bottom. He ain't gonna take it again. He's wisened up. We'll throw it more up this way and swim it down. Let it sink a little bit. Then we'll swim it. We're swimming it with the current. Boys, we got us a tree pounder. Look at that. Son. Trophy fish. You see that, boys? Throw that down on the side here and get it out of the way. Now, that's what you're going to get into when you creek fish. So, what we might do is try to throw this Ned rig real quick for my battery dies. We'll try to get it up under that tree best we can let it sink down there I don't know if it'll float downstream or not it's got you know the Ned rig head on it flopper down right in there the old TRD, the little Ned Rig bait, the TRD that I'm using is, uh, floats, so it's it's moving it down. The current's moving it down for sure. We got us one there, boys. On the old Ned. Biggest one of the day. 
Look at here. Look at her. Look at that red eye on that sucker. Huh? Can you see it? I call them rock bass. I don't know what the real term is for them. Little boogers. If anybody knows the correct name for those, let me know down in the comments. I love those red eyes on those suckers. Throwed it up under that tree, and that's where he hit me at. But we're gonna pick that swim bait back up, and we're gonna throw it down here. We got us another one, boys. We flip right back down in that area and ended up catching us another largey. Hooked him right in the face. Ended up catching three, four bass, something like that, a spot, a few large mouth. One shook off, caught a rock bass or whatever you call the little red eye deal. Uh, we ended up not using the power bait or going pan fishing, but we ended up using, as you've seen, the uh, Kitek swim bait. I only got one left in this pack because I lost the, the one you seen like 12 seconds of the last bass I caught, my camera died. This is a fresh battery, not a fresh battery, it's only 50% that I put in it at the car. But when I caught that fish, when it shook, it throwed my swim bait again. So I got one bit in half and one shook off. We'll use that, that was the most effective thing today, the little small, compact swim bait. And then I had the uh, Ned Rig. We hooked one on the Ned Rig and it shook. And then we caught that little rock bass, little red-eyed fish, whatever you call it. Drop down in the comments, tell me what that is, guys. So, thanks for watching this little quick after work session at the creek. We might come back down here. There's a lot of bass in here right now, so we may come back down here and do a few more videos. You never know. But thank you guys for watching. We love every one of you, and we will see you on the next video.